I'm very excited to welcome Nikki Lickstein, who is going to be working with Confident Performance Coaching. Nikki is a fantastic singer-songwriter, award-winning singer-songwriter. And Nikki, I have known for, you've had so many exciting things going on. You're living in Nashville and you're accomplishing so many great things. Just tell us a little bit about all the things that you've been doing. Well, thank you for having me. And I'm so excited to get to work with, you know, anyone who decides they want to learn some more about songwriting and guitar. Um, a day, a day in the life, you know, I go to a co-write earlier today. I was at NSAI, which is the Nashville Songwriters Association. Um, I had a gig on Sunday, you know, I like to keep things exciting and moving. So I'm a big believer, like the harder you work, the luckier you get. So I've been lucky, but it takes a lot of work and I'm really blessed to get to keep pursuing this dream. I'm just going to showcase one of the great songs that you wrote and produced a video. And some of these songs have been getting covered by other artists, which of course is great because that's the goal of a songwriter. Yes. So let's take a look at one of these great creations here yeah so this is a christmas song i uh, came out with for the holidays it actually got picked up by a local a couple local radio stations <laughs> stop the share for a second here yeah that's it i mean that's a fantastic song so you can you can find all about nikki that's just one of her many great songs that she's written and yeah i've got some stuff on spotify itunes app wherever you find music and um on my website and i also write a lot for other artists so i have things on music platforms that i've written on other people's albums that they're singing or in your career and you're teaching what you're experiencing and that's so so valuable i know that you love working with kids you really love working with kids and that's the case for everybody that we have in our studio has yeah. to really like and want and choose to work with kids so guitar as you mentioned was like my first love it's like my third arm i say um i saw a guitar in preschool and i know most people don't decide what they want to do when they're four, but that was it. And I knew that was it and it's still it. And so um, I asked my, I begged my parents like every day for a year for guitar lessons. And finally, when I could read, they got me lessons. <laughs> and that's kind of much my, my explanation to parents is they always say, well, is it five really young? I said, that's when I started. If your kid can read, they can learn an instrument. And so I'm happy to teach starting that young. That's typically the youngest I'll go. Um, but I've had some amazing students, you know, when they're young, just like soak it up like a sponge. And teacher parents are like, they're reading music, you know, like full music. And they didn't know this, you know, six months ago. I'm like, well, that's what happens, you know? So I love teaching guitar. I've had five all the way to adult students. I've taught private lessons for years, but I also have taught at, community centers and group classes, um, elementary school, middle school, some high schoolers. And like I said, sometimes sometimes my kiddos are loving it so much and then mom and dad are like, wow, I always wish I had a guitar lesson. I'm like, so have a guitar lesson. Yeah, like, so um, love teaching guitar. I do, it really depends on what the student wants. So sometimes they wanna be able to play their favorite song on the radio and sing or perform at a talent show. And so we work on cover songs and. In order to get to that cover song, you have to know how to play chords. In order to make the song sound like it, we're gonna work on strumming patterns and we're gonna put all those pieces together. Sometimes students are a little more interested in a certain genre of music. So whether that be rock or jazz or classical, I'm so sorry, that was my dryer going off. <laughs> uh, whatever genre that may be, there's theory components of that. And I have a very strong theory background from all these 
different music programs I've gone to growing up, um, like NYU and Juilliard and whatnot, that I've had the pleasure of learning from. And so I think the that a strong theory foundation really sets you up for success. Kind of crossing over into that songwriting role is sometimes people want to be able to make and play their own music on the instrument, which yeah. is for me one of the most exciting things to do. You know, making something that was never there before. You're creating something, you know, and that's art. So I also teach songwriting and with that comes, you know, rhyme schemes and what are the parts of a song? You know, what makes a chorus a chorus and a bridge a bridge and why do you need some parts and sometimes you don't need other parts and listening to, you know, if your goal is to be a award-winning songwriter, like listening to your favorite songs and figuring out why, what do I like about those songs and how can I implement those techniques in my own writing and make it my own, you know, Nikki way or whatever way that you want it to be and learning from all those things. Um, how do I know what chords to play? You know, like that goes back into the guitar thing. So it's really exciting. And I always love seeing it kind of all come together. When you see the puzzle pieces clicking or you write that song that's just so much better than any song you've ever written before. And it's all kind of getting into place. That's just the most exciting thing to see as a teacher. And also to be able to realize like, I'm passing down the love of music that my teachers gave me. And I remember so well, you know, all my lessons growing up. So that's also part of the reason why I love working and doing this. Yeah. So that's fantastic. And I'm sure that you can also help people with, you know, once you write a song, how do you um, create a video for it? How do you produce yes. a video? Yeah. The aftermath of the product, I'm also have a lot of experience in. So, you know, it's, it's, where do I take that song? How does it get from paper to wherever I'd like it to be? Whether that's on a music platform for streaming or on a physical CD or into a competition or in front of a publisher. Um, those are things I can help with as well. And there's organizations and tools online that I'd love to share and, you know, help students move to that next level if that's what they want. Like you said, start off with guitar. And I always enjoyed poetry and creative writing. Um, and this goes for students too. If you haven't tried songwriting, doesn't mean you're not gonna love it and be good at it, you know? And so I played guitar and separately liked to write. And in eighth grade, one of my teachers at Bach Middle School of the Arts, my English teacher, right. um, who knew I was a band major um, at the time, was talking to me and there was some poetry competition that she wanted me to submit my poem to. And it just so happened that on the flyer, it was like Taylor Swift won this competition however many years ago. And that's the only reason I applied because I was like, oh, well, Taylor Swift won the competition, that's so cool. And then I wound up winning the competition and they published your poem and whatnot, it was very oh. nice. But at the end of this all, she said, you know, you could put your music to, you can put your words to music. Like that's a thing, you know, like it just never even really quite occurred to me. So when I was 12, that's what I did. I started putting my music to words and that's kind of how I started songwriting. The summer going into high school, it like, once I, once I got it, I got it, you know, like that, I knew that was it. But I think the power of teachers, you know, is so amazing because I think back on it and I'm like, huh, would I have just been writing and playing guitar separately still, you know? So it's pretty cool. You know, it's, um, it's great because I mean, in, in our studio, you know, we have many times we have, we have singers come in and they are little kids, they're writing songs and it's really important parents of, you know, kids between the ages of eight and 12. I mean, if you have a, a child that is writing music or even writing anything, a lot of them are, it's time to you know, get somebody like Nikki to, to really inspire them to do something really fantastic with it. It can really, they can really go far with it once they have the knowledge and they have a structure that to take that gift and really run with it. So I hope parents who are listening, um, if you have a little one that is starting to write, because a lot of them are, we yeah. have some that are coming into the studio that you want to hear the song I wrote? Fourth graders. Yeah. It's a great outlet too, you know, even if it's not in a, I mean, it's lovely when it's a professional setting of like, we have these high goals that we're going to work towards and meet and you're going to play an open mic by the end of whatever, you know, all those sorts of things. But also just as an outlet for, you know, school's rough, 
COVID's had an effect on everybody, um, you know, even children. And yeah. to give them the opportunity to write about it in their own way and express those words and Love get it out of them and onto an instrument is Love so it. helpful. And I, just, I found it to be, you know, so that's all part of it. I mean, I'm all about that. And, um, you know, being an artist gives you an opportunity to take your experiences, negative and positive, and create something with them. And that is an amazing way to uh, manage the ups and downs of life. We can always take something, we can turn it into something beautiful that lives forever. Yes. And uh, and yeah, it's a great way to express anything, any emotions that are uh, somebody is experiencing. It's a great way to release those emotions and do something that's going to live on forever. So that's fantastic. All right. So if you are interested uh, in exploring, working with uh, Nikki or any of our incredibly amazing coaches here at Confident Performance Coaching, you can go to www.confidentperformancecoaching.com. You will find Nikki's information on that site and you will you can set up a, a chat with her. She'll call you and, or, you know, do a Zoom and you can chat to, with her. I mean, everybody that has chatted with her has just fallen in love with her. So you will too and, um, I really encourage you to get on a get on the website, look and see all the fantastic things that Nikki is doing, uh, and this is a great um, thing this summer uh, when kids are in school as well. Great opportunity to get some of this learning. And so, with that, I'm going to thank Nikki so much for joining me today, and we hope to see you um, join us for confidence. Uh, guitar, confidence, songwriting, or anything else that uh, we do here. At yeah. Performance Coaching. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm so looking forward to, you know, some new students, hopefully to, you know, learn with and help them find this whole awesome world. <laughs> Perfect.